Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. In today's episode, we'll talk about Kroger Company traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker name KR. Well, uh, Kroger today uh, was showing a white candle. You can see here uh, price finishing at 33.59 and overall looks like very bullish uh, chart, especially if you look at moving averages. And as always, we have here three moving averages depicted at our daily chart. Here on the left, you see their legends. These are moving averages 20, 50, and 200 being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. Here you see they are depicted. So why is it interesting for this stock? Because after having a long period of decline, so uh, you can see that we were trading in the channel from, let's say, September towards end of the year. These two uh, channels actually, and after uh, finishing those, we are now, let's uh, call these uh, R1 and R2. So after finishing trading in R1, R2, we are now in the major, uh, let's say, reverse for the price. And of course, now we are forming a new trend, let's call it T1. Uh, what is interesting here that uh, we had a very fast accelerating accelerated move uh, for for this let's say even uh, faster than the trend itself um, and finishing with this enormously high price action that was taking place by end of January so after having two waves and reconfirming T1 we had as a secondary step enormously fast move then incredibly big a part shadow of course here and then the price decline all the way now it forms a very nice kind of exponential like decline and now starts bouncing from moving average 200 and uh, actually t1 trends and uh, using moving average 20 as kind of intermediate point so it's still stuck to it and then again tried to go lower uh, free trading sessions ago didn't happen moving average 200 still works as a very good support um, line and today moving average, uh, actually trend T1 worked again as a beginner of the trade. So we are now stuck between moving average uh, 20 and T1. Moving average 20 and 50 are very accelerative, meaning they are pointing up with bending upwards. And this means that their second derivative is higher than zero. So we might expect any moment very fast spiking move here. Of course, uh, also we could make a secondary wave down and only then return to the move. So both are possible because RSI wise we are sitting just in the middle. It's very indecisive. If you look at MACD, it's more bullish because we are making negative wave. It was bottoming now and looks like going to recover, but of course it still might, might have a secondary, let's say, negative wave. So if this is happening, we go uh, to decline. If we go immediately recovering, we might, might spike. So in both cases, we're still very stable because we're sitting in historically long term, almost more than half a year, trading volatilities, and it's quite safe to enter. So how to play here, therefore? Well, you can already enter within the current price section here and actually even a little bit higher as possible. So if you would think as a first levels, uh, this is this very long term uh, nicely formed and confirmed enormous amount of times uh, level of $35 uh, let's call it S1 and of course then uh, you can look at uh, let's rewrite it so S1 here and then uh, the lower part is just SMA 200 so moving average 200 and this this is the volatility level within which we can already buy. So this is the entry opportunity. And if we would write it in numbers, this would be something between 33.07 to uh, actually 34. So that's, that's the trading entry opportunity here immediately very nice one very bullish should we decline further of course we will now talk how to do it if we go up again uh, the major resist lines are here at the level of uh, let's say 35 and also another one is at the level of about 36 actually it's kind of from 36 till uh, 3650 kind of double resist line so there are many resist levels a little bit higher than 3650 something like 3660 so many resist levels uh, but we just need to go at least to the first one to 35 so with this being said actually uh, then we might have some volatilities here 
if we go there and then only then we can break so once we break all of those will be very nice profit and as always speaking of profit taking we advise that our channel from 10 to 15 percent and 10 percent 10 percent profit taking is actually what we consider that our uh, prediction our analysis to work positively so that's uh, what we advise that's what we do don't be too greedy don't wait too long once you make it just exit re-enter if needed also check other videos at our channel we post many videos also older videos up to five weeks are still fresh situation discussed there is just developing so you can be in time to enter there as well and make the profit so don't be greedy don't sit too long don't try to become rich from one trade this is usually not possible because price can go either way you can as well lose and this is usually what's happening and that's one of the reasons why beginner traders uh, face let's say uh, losses in the first year of the trading experience so don't be too greedy follow uh, the advice try to develop positive strategy of trading so if we go up it's very simple just take profit 10 percent maybe 15 then uh, re-enter if needed if we go down how we play here well we are as i said very stable because historically we're trading in a very nice channel of s1 and uh, being the lowest part of it actually uh, s2 somewhere about let's say 30 and while we are within this one we are quite safe actually to enter and average down and play with those so uh, let's write this to here higher so with this being said uh, how to re-enter well if the price declines we of course just take another uh, easiest support level which is here can be seen in the vicinity of uh, just a little bit below than uh, 32 it will be 31.80 and uh, then another one would be here at uh, 30 to 50 so this is another channel another way to play here so 3280 uh, 3180 3250 let's write it here that would be another uh, enter position another let's say first average down if needed and then yeah we should again expect technically based we expect immediate rebounds from there but should some news come of course we might uh, go even lower and then if news comes of course we buy at anywhere below s2 so means anywhere below uh, 30 is immediate buy here so let's write it so anything below 30 is a buy so this is the way to, to trade still very uh, let's say promising very strong stock and uh, could lead to nice profits here because still there is enormous pressure to go up and try to uh, gain to those higher levels of uh, let's write them r3 r4 so these would be the targets to 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 go and with this being said so uh, the strategy to play here again is quite bullish it's one two two meaning that funds you would like to play here you can split in five portions and then you can buy with one portion already with the first, first circle if you need to average down the uh, first time you average down with two portions and if you need to average down again below S2 you average down with two portions again. So this way it will be the best optimization of profit versus loss. If you like numerical table this is the one. If you like graphical representation well you can look here and just make a screenshot of this page. I mean of this moment and then you can use it as your uh, trading let's say strategy trading plan for a Kruger company at this moment very nice company very stable volatility so you can safely play here good luck with this one also uh, if you are first time watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for us based stocks with this being said good luck and see you at another episode of stocks advisor channel